Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please uh, press the like button and share it across. If there is any question that you need to ask, please ask that in the comments. I will try to reply to the comments. Thank you once again for watching the video. Have a good one ahead. Hello and welcome. My name is Venkat. This is a tutorial on basic video editing using Windows Live Movie Maker. Windows Live Movie Maker is easy, simple, yet powerful video editing software. So first, download and install the Windows Live Movie Maker if you haven't already. Next, launch Windows Live Movie Maker. I do have some sample video that needs to be edited here. This is that sample video. Just drag and drop the sample video onto the Windows Live Movie Maker. Here, if it shows a yellow warning icon, it means that the necessary codec have not been installed on your system. You need to get them separately and install on the system. I use a Canon camera and that required quick time player to be installed on the system. Okay, I'm just uh, going to play my current video. Okay, my requirement is to remove the part of the video where my thumbs are down. I'm going to show you how to do that. So my thumb goes down. this time. So I just go to the edit tab and say split. I'm going to the beginning of the movie playing it again. Okay and again my thumb is going to be up. So again I'm going to the split portion and see that the, my thumb is up. Okay, now I have split the video into three portions and the middle portion is what I don't want. So I just right click on it and say remove. So that's it. My video has been edited. The next thing I am going to show you is how to add a title to this video. For this I go to the home tab and click on title. Since the title needs to be at the beginning, I just drag this and drop this in the beginning. A title is associated with a text. I'm just going to write something here. I 
I can increase the width of the text that is required here. Again, I'm going to play from the beginning and this is how it looks. Okay, I observe that the text has not come in this come up in the center of the video so I'm just going to drag it and place it in the center. Okay, now it looks good. Okay, and I'm going to add some credit at the end. This is how the credits is going to look. You may want to add the credits as per your wish. So I've shown you how to remove a part from the video how to add title, how to add credits. Now, I'm going to show you how to do, how to add some audio to this video. So I do have a audio resource. I downloaded it from FMA, Free Music Archive. I'm just going to drag and drop this audio here. And I'm just going to play it. Okay, so what happened in the week? In this video is that I got some background noise of the actual video. I want to remove the music or the sound from the actual video. So I just double click on the video, select the volume, video volume and put it to a minimum. I double click on this part of the video, go to the video volume and make sure that it is set to minimum. Let me try to play this again from the beginning. One more thing I observed is that the music starts at a later point of time, but the video begins earlier. So what I'm going to do is, since the music starts at this point of time, I'm going to say, Set start point. So now the music starts in the beginning of the video. And now I set the end point for the music. So that's it, my movie is ready. So what I'm going to do now is, I go to the home, go to the home tab, go to save movie, and 
since my video is high definition I'm going to save it in the same high definition format I'm just going to save it on the same place So it might take a while for saving the movie since it's high definition. Okay, now uh, the movie is ready to be played. Let me just click on play and see how it looks. My default player is VLC, so that's where it's going to be played. Okay, now don't worry when if it shows some pixels in VLC media player because the WMV format is ideally suited to be played in Windows Media Player. So let me just open it in Windows Media Player and see how it looks. Okay. Okay, it looks absolutely fine on the Windows Media Player. So, if you want to save in other formats as well, you can probably save it for computer now the save as type will always be star.wmv you can only save the file in a windows media video format but you can still upload that vi video to youtube and other, so other uh, online video services you can use some custom setting and set your own width, height and audio format as you may wish to do. Thank you for listening to the video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please uh, press the like button and share it across. If there is any question that you need to ask, please ask that in the comments. I will try to reply to the comments. Thank you once again for watching the video. Have a good one ahead.